How you doing guys? Um, I wanted to do uh, a video on this uh, software that I use which is uh, Unsoft Video Converter for Mac and uh, well you know I kind of use it I have to use this software because uh, I'm using Final Cut Pro 10 and it doesn't import um, my video files from my Canon XF100 which uses uh, MXF files. Um, so I think it's since it's a totally rewritten software by Apple, it only supports a small number of camcorders. So I have to use uh, the software to convert it to ProRes from uh, MXF files. And there's only, you know, certain programs that'll do that. And now, uh, when I was looking for one to do this, uh, I went to the Apple store and I looked at a few of them, or quite a few of them, uh, conversion software. And, you know, I kind of looked at the ones that had good reviews on it and uh, which I think that uh, which was the Ansoft one and it was for a good price. Uh, th I think it was $35. That's what the price is right now. And so uh, I downloaded the demo version. It worked great. So, you know, I've been using that for a while. And uh, maybe a week or two ago, they uh, did an update to to the software. Uh, through the App Store, you know, that's where you update it from. And so I recently used it on a project I was working on uh, two days ago. And, you know, I, I put the files in there and I started up and it, it was like 50% faster. And it started actually opening up a bunch of these separate windows. And, uh, you know, I was kind of scared at first. I didn't know what was going on. But then, you know, uh, I see the the extreme speed boost and then I know they um, did a uh, looks like a major upgrade or update to it so I figure it was well un worth enough to you know go over this piece of software and uh, I mean there are some other video conversion software out there that are um, even some free versions are quite good like handbrake and, and some other paid ones now this is where I'm gonna tell you the kind of the difference between the two um, because um, something like this what the software does here it, it kind of does some of the obscure formats and some of the prosumer and professional um, like importing from camcorders and going out to prosumer and professional video editors and so something like this would be really excellent to use I'm gonna go over some of the uh, the file formats which um, and uh, of course Final Cut Pro it does um, into uh, ProRes and uh, also AIC Apple Intermediate Codec which uh, I believe iMovie uses uh, Avid Studios that's another one uh, Android which I haven't really seen uh, necessarily for other video converters but it seems to handle that uh, I'll give you okay the Blackberry I guess uh, G Phone I, I, I didn't know if that existed but uh, Samsung, uh, Archos, which is surprising, and Creative Zen and Zune. I haven't really seen other video converters support that. Not like I really look at it a lot, but so it does cover quite a bit of specialized formats. And uh, let me see if I can uh, bring this up here on some of the thing, the editing software it can uh, output to uh, iMovie, Final Cut Pro, uh, Pro Seven as well. Adobe Premiere Pro, Avid, Media Composer, Final Cut Express, Caden Live, After Effects, Adobe CS4, Master Collection, Adobe Encore, Media 100, and so on. And uh, another thing that makes it very interesting is, uh, now this is only on the, uh, well, I'm talking about specifically this software, and Unsoft Video Converter for Mac, is it supports uh, multiprocessor, and uh, you can actually open up to four running instances of itself. And I'm going to show you that in a minute if you go to options. And you can also um, configure it too a little bit. And uh, we're showing here uh, CPU convert using all cores. Um, convert using the least core number. Uh, not 100% sure what that is. And, uh, and you can customize the amount of cores. Now I'm running uh, the Mac Pro 8 core, which is a Nihilum processor, so 
Um, it's actually eight real cores, and the rest are like virtual cores or threads. So, you know, that's adjustable as well. And uh, I think this what also speeds it up is using these processes. Um, maximum uh, simultaneous running pro uh, processes, uh, which is set at four. And uh, I'm going to show you that just in a bit. And you're going to see that once we run that, you'll see uh, actually four running at, one, running at one time. And you can also, um, I think you can run the files. Uh, it's not exactly a... a for editing video, but you can actually take shorter clips within um, the uh, individual clips. So if you you only want certain parts, you can do with this uh, um, window right here and the play button and uh, right there. And uh, okay, uh, right now I've got it set for uh, the format Apple Pro Res uh, 244 high quality MOV. And I've got 10 clips already loaded, which are the uh, MXF from my um, Canon XF100 prosumer camera. And uh, we're going to run it so you can actually see uh, run for yourself. Now, um, the prior version, it could only do one file at a time. Of course, it's really batch file processing, but... So once it got done uh, converting one file, then it would go to the next. But uh, with this new version, you can actually see uh, more than one instance running at one time. And uh, we're going to start it here. And it's getting ready to process. And uh, we've got a status bar. Now if you look in the lower right hand side, you've got four instances running at once. and you can see here it's not only it's running you know four files at once so uh, that's where we're actually getting the speed boost uh, as well oh okay we're actually opening up to fifth as well wow and uh, normally doing something like this would actually take me um, depending on the project as much as 20 minutes um, and so this is going to probably cut it in half uh, or even less, depending on, you know, size of the files, how long, and, uh, and as you can see, now, keep in mind, these are very short files. Um, the last project uh, only lasted a total of maybe, once I edited it, uh, two and a half minutes. But still, uh, it's uh, really fast compared to uh, the last version. And uh, we're fixing to complete here very shortly. And I'm also going to show you one more thing as soon as that completes. Come on, Slowpoke. I got that one file, number seven. Hurry up. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, finishing up now. And there we go. We just completed. Uh, just like that. Um, so, yeah. Now, um, thanks for, uh, you know, I've been talking with Unsoft, um, the company. And uh, they actually, uh, thank, I want to thank them for sending me the, uh, the newest version that came out, which is uh, Trans... Uh, MXF. I'm going to talk a little bit about that as well. And uh, uh, Unsoft Trans MFX X, MXF. Ah. Okay, as you can see, it's very much similar. And let me go ahead and shut this one down. Um, I mean, it has pretty much the same options. Um, um, this is really built around the, uh, of course, the MXF file format. And there's a reason they said that they did this, and I kind of read uh, a little bit what it says here. Um, it seems that uh, some people have been having problems using the uh, video, uh, the Unsoft uh, vi video conversion software um, to take, like I think it was a Panasonic, on s well on some Panasonic Sonic cameras, and I think also. This might cover 
the uh, Canon XF300, um, XF305, and XF100, uh, the kind that I have. And uh, the Final Cut Pro 7 doesn't ingest it very well with the, uh, the login transfer, which it's supposed to do. So now, they, they had trouble using this in uh, their other program, so they made this special program, the Trans MXF, to address that issue. And um, to be able to convert it without uh, problems. And uh, now I think there's a few things. Uh, f- not uh, the the there's a few differences between the two that uh, than the previous one. And uh, I think uh, from what she said, it didn't support uh, support multi core. But um, I kind of see here. It still has the same options, so I don't know if um, it was a mistake or whatever. And we're um, here we're showing it still supports four processes, and supposedly um, it's still able to use 16 cores according to this. But I don't know. Um, but you'll find even the video uh, conversion converter for Mac um, pretty much you know works uh, great as well if you want to use just that. But this is just for the specific. Uh, problems that I uh, just mentioned for that one. So um, yeah, also check on the website. They got other um, very good software as well, and uh, all uh, well priced around. Uh, any, I think it's anywhere from thirty to forty dollars. And uh, so check it out.